Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I really appreciate you finding me on YouTube. Just want to say thank you so much to those of you who are watching this who have subscribed to my channel. That means so much. And I just want to say thank you. It does not go unnoticed if you're watching this and you're not subscribed. Go ahead. It's right there. It's right under this video. You can just click the button and go ahead and subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you want to. That would mean a lot. But yeah, happy Saturday, everybody. Hope you guys have had a good weekend so far. It ended up just being me home by my lonesome on this Saturday. And honestly, I'm not too mad about it. I'm just kind of in the mood to chill and like do whatever I want to do. I don't really have a plan for the day, but it feels nice to kind of have a slow morning and relax a little bit. I definitely slept in, but I wanted to do sort of like a self-care Saturday today. I'm actually really excited about it because I haven't been feeling fantastic about myself lately. Nothing specific. Like, do you guys ever get in those moods where you just feel like blah? You know, like you can't really put a finger on it. You just feel meh. I've been feeling like uninspired, unmotivated. And I think a lot of it has to do with kind of falling off track with my diet a little bit. I actually got on my Instagram story recently and shared with a few friends that had been asking me about how I lost some of the weight. And if you watch my second video a couple videos ago a vlog a recent vlog where I talked about going back to my functional doctor and like doing my follow-up and all that good stuff but I had some people on Instagram ask me how I was eating if I was still gluten-free dairy-free all of those things that I did for quite some time and lost a little bit of weight from it if you don't follow me on Instagram I'll put my handle right here I give more updates on there about what I'm eating workouts, all that good stuff. Uh, so yeah, make sure to follow me there and you won't miss any updates. But yeah, anyways, I just want to kind of get a fresh start. I've just not been eating well lately and I just want a fresh start. It's always okay to start over whenever you need to because if you're like me, I'm not perfect and I know for a fact there's going to be more times than just this time that I make bad choices and eat something that I don't need to eat and things like that. So you can start over as many times as you need to to make yourself feel good and, and fresh. And I know that eating clean and making good decisions in my diet always makes me feel better mentally and physically as well. So that's where we are <laughs> currently. Anyway, that's kind of how we're feeling lately and that's okay if you're feeling that way too. We can be in this together. So today I just want to do things that make me feel good and things that make me feel better. First things first, always, every day, every morning, I cannot function without my coffee. And I actually woke up with a little bit of a headache this morning, so I'm hoping this will make me feel better. But after I finish my coffee, I would love to go shower and like wash my hair and just get clean so I can feel fresh and kind of give myself a little bit of a makeover. So I don't know, maybe it'll help. We'll see. I'm going to finish my coffee and then I'll see you guys after I shower. I feel so much better already just washing my hair even though it's like such a task like girls you get it if you have long hair it's such a task we did it we're clean accomplished I feel so much better so I'm gonna get ready really quick let's see if we can do a really cool transition ready was that really cheesy probably sorry okay two things first I wish you guys could have heard my freaking upstairs neighbors. They were blaring their music and literally like, I get it, it's an apartment complex, but 
they were listening to My Heart Will Go On. Like, I wasn't aware that I had friggin' Rose from the Titanic living upstairs above me. I was like, what the actual? Anyways, another thing. So when I took a shower just then, I actually put some essential oils down on the bottom of the shower and it really actually helped my headache a lot. I just used peppermint oil. This is the doTERRA one. I'm sure you can use any other brand there is. And then I just sprinkled some lavender on there as well. I just dropped them in the bottom of the shower. That way when the water hits it, it like whatever that word is. But yeah, that really helped a lot. And I feel much better already. I kind of put myself together a little bit, put some clothes on and did just a little bit of hair and makeup. Uh, yeah, I just did really simple eyeshadow and throw on some mascara. I actually used the little eyeshadow hack that I showed you guys in the video where I did a get ready with me for Whitney Duncan's country music video. I showed you guys the little hack with like any flat edge. You can kind of angle it up and create that like edge on your eyeshadow there. And so even if you don't do winged eyeliner, it just kind of gives you that winged look, I guess, that natural winged look. So yeah, also, have you guys watched the video yet? I watched it, oh, I've seen it like a million times and it was so good, it turned out great. If y'all haven't watched it, um, I will leave the link in the description box below if you wanna go watch it. It was so fun, Whitney did such a good job. If y'all haven't seen it, you should go watch it. Another thing I wanted to share if I'm ever feeling like blah, kinda like I was today. Morale is low, we need like a pick me up if I'm ever feeling like that. One thing that is always for sure, it works for me every single time is self tanner. Now that sounds weird. Some of you guys may not like to self tan at all. I personally love it. In high school, I laid in the tanning bed all the time, every day, like 20 minutes a day. I had no clue how bad that actually was for me. And I'm 28 now. And so I'm starting to notice things about my skin and like some I don't even know if you can tell, but like little kind of dark spots on my arms and stuff like that, that I could just kick my younger self for tanning like that. I should have known better. But anyways, I'm going on a freaking soapbox about it. So now I use self tanner. I honestly don't care if I look orange. I would rather be orange than see through pale because literally when I'm pale and don't have a tan, I look sickly. I'm not even kidding. And I feel so bad about myself. One of the things that I love to do to give me like a little mood boost is self tan. So I wanted to show you guys what I used. I actually have self tanner on now. I did it two days ago, I think. So yeah, this is about two days old. It's move I'm back away from the light a little bit. You can tell it's a pretty natural um, color. It's not very orange or anything. It's got really nice kind of gold undertones. This is one of my favorite self tanners ever. It's called Bondi Sands and they just released this new line called Aero. This new formula that they came out with is super quick drying, nothing on my sheets. There was absolutely nothing. You can get this at like CVS, Walgreens, drugstores, places like that, which I love. Um, this is actually an Australian company, but I love them so much and I use it all the time. Yeah, super great tip. Um, if you like to self tan and if you're ever just having one of those like blah days that you just want to feel a little bit better and a little bit more confident. I use self tanner all the time and it instantly makes me feel so much better. It's quite a bit later. It is 538. So I think I should figure out what I want for dinner. I'm not really sure to be honest, which, okay, welcome to my daily struggle because especially when I have a day like this that I don't feel bad, but I don't feel like great. Like my inner spirits want to be lazy and just lay around and be a total slob and not do anything today but I kind of had to force myself to get up and be productive and not lay around all day so I somewhat got ready but I do not feel like cooking dinner and I know here's the thing I've been feeling a bit down on myself lately and I know for a fact if I were to cook like a really good healthy meal for dinner it would make me feel so much better i know that welcome to my struggle because i don't feel like cooking it another thing we don't have any groceries right now like our cabinets and our fridge is pretty probably bare so here we start the battle with do i get takeout the struggle is real i don't know i need to go look in my cabinets and see if there's 
absolutely anything that I could pull together and just fix here so I don't have to get out. My main thing is like, I don't want to get out of the house. It's cold. It's like raining here in Nashville. So I don't really want to leave the house. Let's go see what we have in the fridge and the pantry. Let's go see if there's anything we can do with that. Oh, yeah, we don't have anything. We have eggs tuna salad. Yeah, I don't even have any meat or anything. Dang it. I do know one thing. Uh, while I try to decide, it's almost 545. It's time to go from coffee to a glass of wine, which brings me to my next point about self-care. It can look so different for me. It can look so different for you. It can look so different on different days but sometimes a self-care day to me is going to be an extra large glass of red wine uh this vlog may become a little bit more fun for you all <laughs> if i do that too so let's get a glass of wine And this is what we're working with tonight. This is my company, you guys, and my tall glass of wine. So, cheers. First sip is always kind of weird. Okay, I've had a red wine induced epiphany and I'm not mad about it, let me tell you. I went through everything that I had in the cabinets and we have nothing, like literally nothing in here. So we made the decision to opt for a healthy dinner and I have two bananas that are about to go bad, exhibit A. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make protein pancakes with bananas, protein powder, some chocolate chips in them. I actually used to make these literally all the time. There was a point in my life when I was in college when I was literally like a psychopath about my diet. I measured everything, I weighed everything. We're not proud of that. But anyways, I used to make these protein pancakes literally all the time. They were so good, they're so filling. And I think I have all the stuff to make them. So let's make some banana and chocolate chip protein pancakes. I think they're gonna be good and I will show you guys everything I use. Okay, so this is it. This is literally all you need for chocolate chip protein pancakes. You've got bananas that are about to go old and I'm not gonna eat them in any other form other than maybe a smoothie or pancakes. Then let me introduce you guys if I haven't already. This is the best protein ever, literally ever. It's from 1UP Nutrition. They are incredible. Coconut ice cream is the best flavor ever. They've got really great macros, 23 grams of protein. They've got BCAAs. It's a whey protein. I think I mentioned in my blood test results that I did find out I was highly sensitive to pea protein. So any of the like vegan protein powders, I couldn't, couldn't eat. So whey protein is the way to go. I'm gonna use some sugar-free maple syrup, a little bit of cinnamon, baking powder, and the most important part, chocolate chips. Okay, I interrupt this program because I almost forgot literally the most important part, you need eggs. We'll try it with three and we'll see if we need another one.
we learned a few things. <laughs> Honestly, they have come out like this before, like a little brown on top. I think it's just because of the banana. But maybe the lesson learned was don't try to make these after I've had a glass of wine. Anyways, moving on, let's just pretend they look a little bit more appetizing because they've looked like this before and I swear they were actually like so good. So let's go ahead and top with a little bit of sugar-free syrup. Oh yeah. All right, first official taste test. Make sure I get some of the syrup. Mm. Okay, hear me out. I know this doesn't look good. These look like burnt almost, but I swear it's the bananas in them. It cooks so fast with the baking powder and stuff. These are really good, trust me. I have made these before and they always end up looking like this, but they're actually so good, I promise. Oh, that was a good bite. Oh my God, those are so good. Try those at home and let me know how yours come out because if I could recommend anything, I would recommend don't put your pan on super high heat because they'll get dark like that really quickly. I don't know. They just look like that. I don't know why. But yeah, if they were burnt, I, I could not fake this for y'all and like choke them down. They're actually so good. Oh my God, do I have chocolate on my face? I hope not. Ooh. Also hope I'm not smacking. That's gross. That is so gross. Nobody likes someone that smacks. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed. Try the recipe and let me know if you like it. I promise it's so good and they're so much better for you than regular pancakes. And if I'm being honest, I was about this close to ordering takeout from somewhere or Postmates from like a Mexican restaurant that would have been not good for me at all. So I'm really happy that I pulled it together and made these protein pancakes. I'm glad that I finished up some stuff in my kitchen that was about to go bad. All in all, a good decision. So we can go to bed tonight and feel good about ourselves. And just a word of advice, if you are feeling like me and you go through these periods where you get down on yourself, if you're not eating well, if you're not exercising enough, whatever it may be in your life, just know that you are allowed to start over whenever you want. And that's the beautiful thing about it being your journey. If you mess up, so what? Nobody cares. It's just you. You were the only one responsible for your success. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to slowly get back on track with my food, workouts, and all that good stuff. So I hope to share more of that on here with you guys. Hopefully it can encourage some of y'all out there who might be going through the same thing. Just know that I am here with you. I understand how hard it is. I know the struggle. The struggle is real. Yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling. I hope that you guys like this vlog. If you did, make sure to leave it a thumbs up down below. That would help me out so much. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to grow my audience and um, hopefully, you know, reach more people out there that need to know that they're not alone in their fitness journey. Yeah, thank you if you've already subscribed. If you haven't, please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.